Well, the monarch is the official state butterfly, and in just a few weeks, millions of them will arrive here in Minnesota after migrating from Mexico. But the monarch and its population have plunged over the last several decades. And as Maury Glover shows us, an Edina couple has made it their mission to save the monarchs. There's not much not to love about the monarchs. Ward Johnson has loved the beauty and majesty of monarch butterflies since he was a child growing up on the prairie in western Minnesota. But he's worried his favorite species won't survive much longer without a little help. Why would you not? I'm saying, why would you not? You're, you're aware of a problem. You're aware of a of the difficulty, the complexity of the problem. And if you don't do it, nobody's going to do it. Johnson says the number of monarchs that migrate to Mexico dropped more than 90% from 1992 to 2014 because the plant they depend on for their food and habitat, milkweed, is disappearing due to land development and pesticides. Johnson's parents, Irvin and Gladys, spent their winter vacations driving their camper down to Florida or Texas, planting milkweed seeds in parks and on the side of the road along the way. Monarch butterflies, they lay their eggs on milkweed plants and the caterpillars come out and live their whole life on a milkweed plant. They eat leave, milkweed leaves every minute of the day. There's no substitute for milkweed. You, if you don't have milkweed, you don't have monarchs. Seven years ago, Johnson and his wife started the Save Our Monarchs Foundation to help bring the butterfly's population back by restoring their habitat, one milkweed plant at a time. So far, more than 17,000 schools around the country have signed up to receive pollinator pouches with milkweed and wildflower seeds inside to start their own butterfly gardens. We just want to get those in the hands of the kids so they can influence their parents, influence the people around them, and, you know, make, a, make an impact in their own community. Johnson says their nonprofit has sent out more than 100 million milkweed seeds across North America. And he hopes their mission continues to grow until monarch butterflies rule the insect world once more. There's no end point. It's not like we made it because that never is going to happen. There's a possibility that the eventual population of the monarchs will be zero if we don't take care of them. Maury Glover, Fox 9.